Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGM007 and today we're looking at the More Ores plugin. Now this is a really fantastic plugin which not only adds loads of new cool ores that you can mine, but it also adds quite a few new items. Now these ores will just generate in any world that you specify, which is really awesome. You don't have to do anything. And you can also use a command to spawn them in as well as get them from a cool GUI and we will have a look at all of that in today's plugin review. So the first thing we're going to do is for slash MO that is going to show us all of the commands. Now there's a few things here. The first thing we're going to do is a for slash MO and then what we can do here is select either any of the items or the new ores. As you can see there is a ton of them so we could get the ice ore for example if we have a look at this. This is what it's going to look like, so slightly smaller than a normal block, it's obviously a uh, retextured head. So one of the ores that you can get is called a Corrupted Ore. Now if you grab nine of these and pop them in a crafting bench, that will give you pure corruption. Now with this you can click on a sword, which will make it a Corrupted Sword. Now a Corrupted Sword is going to give you a chance at having the wither effect when you hit an enemy with it. Um, when this does happen you will lose a bit of durability but obviously the wither effect is pretty powerful and will hopefully defeat the foe for you. So that's just an example of one of the items you can get. In this chest I've got most of the ores, there are a few other ones that you can get but you can see you know a fire ore gives you a fire crystal, liquid ore, health ore, there's an explosive ore, experience ore, you can probably guess what this one does if we were to you know, go in game mode zero smash it and that's going to give you a good amount of experience. Now if you do MO menu that's going to show you all of the items so we've got all of the ores here you can see there's a ton um, and then down here we've got various chest plates uh, so we've got corrupted leggings which are pretty cool there's a the pure corruption hardened end stone ice ore and that can make the ice helmet and boots and then unstable TNT which is going to explode when you break it and we've got a few different pearls as well um, and it's going to show you, you, know, you can find four or nine of these to get a certain pearl. So that is kind of how the plugin works. There's tons of new ores which allow you to create brand new items. And as I mentioned, they do spawn randomly. So if I go to warp ore, I had a look around earlier and it's actually um, flooding in here, which is not ideal. So if we, uh, if we block up this hole and this hole, uh, we can see hopefully down here, this one spawns naturally. I found this earlier, so we could have mined that. And then up here, we also found another one. And it's pretty cool in this config, you can set which blocks you want it to replace. Now, there's a couple of other useful commands. If we do the MO clear and then world command, um, and then obviously you want to confirm it because you don't want to delete them all. Now, if you want to uh, regenerate it, you can do the MO generate and then world command. And obviously you want to confirm that as well. So that is effectively how it works. Obviously you can do MO reload if you make any changes in the config file, but we're gonna take a look there and see what we can change. So here we are in the SMP control panel. There is a storage file, a language file, and the config. So the main place we wanna go is obviously the config. Make sure it's enabled and then all worlds. Maybe you want to set this to false and then you'd obviously list the worlds here um, to make sure they are in fact whitelisted and they work on those. And then remove all, so you can put worlds on this um, that the ores will be removed from, which is pretty handy. And then drop in creative, yes or no, do you want that to be the case? And then here are a list of items that can break the ores instantly, so typically the best pickaxes. And then silk touch, is that going to work? So for the experience ore, would you get experience or would you get the whole ore? So the developers have really thought this through. Spawn blocks, so these are the blocks it can replace, so basically just different types of stone and netherrack end stone. Um, and then all the ores down here, it's pretty handy. The min and max y coordinate that, will, that they will spawn for, so this one is going to spawn pretty low down towards the ground. This one is going to be a lot easier to find, for example. Uh, they're all enabled. And then down here we've got all the different new armors, and they do various things such as uh, giving you speed or giving you slow depending on you know if you get lucky or not. If we head over to the spigot page, you can see more info about all the different ores and it tells you a little bit about it, which is very handy. And then down here are some of the stuff you can craft, so different pearls. So if you want to download the plugin, head over to the spigot page. It's updated from 1.13 to 1.18. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.